Sophia, the wise woman, and since 1879, the capital of the new Bulgaria, a city whose roots date back to the 5th century BC. It has a long history. Once Thracians settled here, then followed Romans, Goths, Huns and Ottomans. In the 14th century, the city was named after its patron saint, the Goddess of Wisdom. Indeed, a church was consecrated to the Goddess. Today's Sofia originated at the end of the 19th century. At that time, the city's appearance changed from one of Oriental to European. Neoclassical buildings and tall civic houses replaced the low-built Ottoman constructions, as well as communist building megalomania. The historic city centre features the many cultures that form Bulgaria. The palace, parliament, national theatre, and various government buildings form their own district. Including the numerous, more ostentatious buildings from communist times that possess a kind of melancholic dignity. The city is fast becoming a dynamic metropolis, a multicultural capital with a strong Western influence that unites each of its elements. Sofia is a cultural metropolis as well as a city between different worlds, a junction between Europe and the Orient, a place of history. Sofia is a popular city and knows how to captivate its visitors. Its historic city centre features the most splendid sacred building in the Balkan Peninsula of the 20th century, the Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. The cathedral is of neo-Byzantine design that was popular in Russia when famous Russian architect Bomaranchov initiated its design. This huge structure dominates the highest point of the city. A nave and two aisles support several domes and adjoining towers. Particularly impressive are the fine works of marble at the main entrance and the abundant stone mosaics on the external walls and above the doors. a work of art of the Russian Orthodox religion that can accommodate a congregation of more than 5,000. The monumental features continue within, and here also the abundance of shape and color helps to temper the otherwise overwhelming scene. The most famous Russian and Bulgarian masters of the turn of the century are represented here with icons, wall paintings and mosaics. That is why the wooden carvings, reliefs, ornaments and wall paintings are among the most beautiful of their kind. A masterpiece of national rebirth. From the outset, the Sveti Alexander Nevsky was to be a thanksgiving church, built according to the design of Petersburg architect Pomeranchov. During the Russian-Turkish War that took place from 1877 to 1878, around 200,000 Russian soldiers lost their lives. They fought and died for Bulgaria's independence. 
Until its liberation, the country was part of the Ottoman Empire, and the people were thus unable to freely practice the Orthodox religion. Icons play an important role in Orthodox Christianity. They not only depict images of Christ and various saints, but are also worshipped as sacred works of art. The power of the images helps the faithful to feel the presence of God, whose divine spirit flows into their senses. At first, the icons depicted only ascetic and sacred features, but from 1800 AD, real-life ideas were introduced. The name of the cathedral refers to the victory against the non-Christian Ottomans by Russian monarch, ruler and saint, Alexander Nevsky, who, in the 13th century, defeated the army of the Swedish king on the river Neva. Nevsky was indeed an historic Russian hero. He became patron saint of the Russian army, and since his canonization has been a symbol of the supremacy of Christianity. The Russian Tsar of that time, Alexander II, was also revered in Bulgaria as the Tsar Osvoboritel, the King of Liberation. The Alexander Nevsky Cathedral, alive with the power of religious faith. In the shadow of the mighty cathedral, a stone lion guards the city's oldest Christian church, Sveta Sophia. In the 16th century, it was built outside the city wall on the foundation of two ancient churches. It was destroyed several times, rebuilt, transformed into a mosque, and then consecrated as a church. The exterior of this modest red brick building is in stark contrast to the splendid shining icons on the plain brick walls of its interior. The oldest of the churches dates back to the 4th century and was a burial chapel. It features a mosaic that contains the Tree of Life. Above it, a basilica was built, but soon after it was completed, it was destroyed by the Goths, and later a larger one was rebuilt. It seems as though the city's patron saint cared for the maintenance of her church. The Red Army Memorial is a reminder of Russian aid and liberation from foreign rule. dramatic symbols of real socialism. Close to the memorial is a further monument that depicts Bulgarian workers, farmers and partisans greeting their Soviet liberators. Borisova Gradina is the name of the surrounding park, the city's largest park, created by a Swiss landscape designer. In 1894, the Park of Peace was named Borisova Gradina on the occasion of the birth of Prince Boris, who later became Tsar Boris III. The huge monolith of the liberators can be seen from everywhere. The city's green lung is flanked by noble buildings. as well as by small lakes and the Orlov Most, the Eagle Bridge. 
with its golden onion-shaped towers, Sveti Nikolai is generally known as the Russian church. This small church fascinates the eye with its splendid old Russian design. The National Archaeological Museum was once known as the Great Mosque, built at the end of the 15th century. Both in front of the building and within its interior, various national treasures are exhibited. Findings from prehistoric times until the late Middle Ages and the gold of the Thracians. The city's oldest building is really quite unique. Its inner courtyard contains one of the city's most expensive hotels. The remains of the Sveti Georgi are well guarded. A red brick rotunda with a dramatic history. It dates back to the 4th century and first served as a Roman place of culture before it was consecrated as the Church of St. George in the 6th century AD. During the 16th century, the building was transformed into a mosque and later, for a short time, as a mausoleum for the first sovereign of the independent Bulgaria. Finally, Sveti Georgi was again transformed into a Christian church. The 10 meter long church building continues to impress with its fine domes and frescoes. Close by is the Sveta Nadelia church, or Holy Sunday church a mighty stone building of more recent times. Here, a political tragedy once took place. The peaceful gleam of the splendid icons of the interior of this, one of the city's most important churches, hides a bloody event of bygone times. On the 16th of April 1925, there was an assassination attempt on Tsar Boris. The Tsar survived uninjured. However, 120 people were killed and 500 badly injured. The church domes were destroyed by the explosion. In 1931, the badly damaged church was rebuilt and splendidly restored. Especially striking are the shining icons and wall paintings of the Samokov school from the time of Bulgarian Renaissance. Both old and new works create an almost mystical atmosphere. As seat of the Bishop of Sofia, the church became a cathedral. The seat of the president is located within a grey 20th century building. By their colourful uniforms, the guards add colour and life. Day and night, they guard the main entrance of the presidential palace. The changing of the guards ceremony is a popular attraction for both locals tourists alike.
Dressed in red-white parade uniforms with lace jackets and feathered hats that date back to the 19th century, the soldiers goose-step a predetermined route. It's an impressive sight. In a suburb of Sofia, located on the slopes of the Vitosche Mountains, is the country's most worshipped in historic building. Boyana Church. It comprises three churches that over the centuries have become a single entity. The first building measures six square meters. Two centuries after construction, a two-story church was added. Within a small cemetery alongside the church, noblemen and dignitaries were laid to rest. The wall paintings within Boyana Church are a unique highlight of Bulgaria's medieval religious art. They form part of a small number of well-preserved works of art of the East Church that date back to the Latin period of the 13th century. The restorers estimate that there are around 240 paintings yet to be discovered. The frescoes feature saints, angels, and motifs of biblical history, plus scenes that depict Jesus and his apostles. Unusually, the artists of Boyana expressed the feelings and thoughts of the people of that time. The style is of the medieval method of painting, as permitted by Byzantine art, along with traditional features. It's believed that there were three painting periods, the 11th, 13th and 16th centuries. The first artist painted the lower section of the apsis, the northern and the western wall. Most of his paintings were repainted in 1259. It was not usual to inscribe the name of the artist as the works were created for God, thus the church and worldly objects were deemed unimportant. It wasn't the artist who created the work, but God who guided the artist's brush. Anonymity was an expression of Christian modesty and humility. A team of restorers continues to preserve the splendid wall and ceiling paintings for posterity. Restoration work has been carried out for many years and since 2002 Boyana Church has been open to the public. Because the paintings are very fragile, only a few visitors are allowed to enter the church at any one time and for a fixed period only. But the remarkable nature of these works of art makes it well worth a visit. So Boyana Church became famous for its amazing sacred wall paintings that date back to medieval times. The church has a long history and is now a world heritage site.
Returning to the city, we visit the Banya Basi Mosque. It can be seen from afar with its plum-shaped domes and striking minaret. It's said to be the most important building of the Ottoman period. It is the only fully intact mosque that the city's Muslims possess. The interior of the last remaining mosque, that once totaled 50, features the designs of the 16th century. This Islamic house of God was built by Turkish architect Sinan. The hot springs of mineral water in the center of the city attracted the Romans who built baths here. The Ottomans enlarged the complexes. The building dates back to 1911 and served as a public bathing house. Colorful ceramic tiles decorate the facade that was built according to Byzantine design. Opposite the mosque and baths is the central market hall that dates back to the same period. Before it was built, the local farmers offered their products in the Alfresco Friday market. The first roofed marketplace in Bulgaria is an impressive building of Art Nouveau design. Iron pillars support the first floor arcades as well as the roof. More than a hundred stalls on both floors offer a variety of delicacies, clothing and jewellery. Restoration work took 12 years. Close to the market hall is a Jewish religious building, the largest synagogue in the Balkan Peninsula, designed by an Austrian. Viennese architect Friedrich Gunanger designed this building in the style of the Viennese Secession and added many Moorish and Neo-Byzantine design elements. In the year 2000, the newly renovated building was reopened. It features an exhibition on the fate of the Bulgarian Jews during the Second World War. The chandelier weighs 2,250 kilos, that is the synagogue's pride and joy. And its main dome is 30 meters high. The Jewish community originated from Sephardim and settled here after their expulsion from Spain. The Jews were well-respected citizens and officially accepted by Saar Ferdinand. Sophia has a modern road system, but Roman, medieval and Ottoman buildings indicate its ancient and varied history. During communism after the Second World War, the city expanded dramatically. Huge residential areas were built, as well as the ostentatious buildings of communist rule. The mix of cultures and various historic epochs is plain to see. The transformation of Sofia into a lively cosmopolitan capital has succeeded well, with history and tradition still very much in evidence. Young, modern and exciting with the flair of the mystical Balkans. <laughs>